I want to know how many times Buchanan's name appears in this list of salesperson names. I can use the COUNTIF function to find out. It counts the number of cells in a range that meet criteria you specify, such as the name Buchanan. So I'll start my formula out by typing my equal sign and then type the first few letters of the function. And notice that as soon as I do that, Excel offers me a list of functions that start with those letters. Well, here's COUNTIF, and I'll just double click to let Excel enter the rest of the function for me. And then my first argument is range. Where do I want Excel to look? Well, I want Excel to look in this column, starting with cell A2, and I'm clicking and dragging all the way down to cell A20. Next, I'll type a comma to separate the range argument from the criteria argument. And in this example, Buchanan is the criteria. And I'll type a quotation mark in Buchanan's name and end with a quotation mark. And that's because in this type of formula, anything that's text must be surrounded by quotation marks. And I'll enter my ending parentheses and press enter. And Buchanan's name appears seven times. Now say I want to check another salesperson's name. I don't have to do the formula over. I just go up the, to the formula bar and select Buchanan's name and say that I want to know how many times Doddsworth appears in the list. So I'll type the name and press enter and it's five. And now on to another example. I have a list of student names and their grades in a computer science class. First, I want to use COUNTIF to find out how many students got a grade of 3.3. So I'll begin typing my formula, double click here in the list. The range argument is here, the grades. I'll click here in cell B4 and drag all the way down to cell B18. Type a comma to separate the range argument from the criteria. And I'm looking for students with grades of 3.3, so that's my criteria. And notice there are no quotation marks. You do not use quotation marks with numbers. I'll enter the closing parentheses and press Enter. And two students got a grade of 3.3. Now I want to know how many students got a grade of 3.3 or better. So I'll start my formula off. enter the range, my comma, but now I'm going to use a quotation mark even though there's going to be a number here, which might seem a little self-contradictory. Whenever you use a math operator in the criteria, such as greater than or less than or equal and so on, then the entire criteria must be enclosed within quotation marks. So my argument is greater than or equals 3.3 and I'll end that with quotation marks and ending parentheses and press enter and six students got a grade of 3.3 or better. Now finally I'll see how many students got a grade of less than 3.0. Start my formula, enter my range, enter my comma, start with quotation marks since I'm going to be using a math operator of less than three and another quotation mark and an ending parentheses and five students got a grade of less than 3.0.